Yep. We'll do some test shots. Yep. So this is what we use. We use an intervalometer to, to take a picture every three seconds, yep. and that's what we do for the scientific transects. I think the SV2 is a game changer um, because it's um, automating high definition images at a scale which has not been done before. Lead scientist Ove Hogulberg was one of the first marine biologists to link coral damage to climate change. And while Gulberg and others have been monitoring the effects of climate change on reefs for decades, they've never been able to do it on such a large scale. For each 360 degree image the camera captures, a GPS will also record the exact location and camera direction. And it's that information that makes this one-of-a-kind device so crucial to scientists. I mean, so far, we're only halfway through the Catlin Seaview Survey expeditions, but we've collected almost 100 kilometers of transects. This is, you, you just can't do that normally. You, you'd be taking 100 years to do this with normal divers out there with, with normal cameras. So getting that technology right has been incredibly important. We don't have that global baseline for how reefs are doing across the planet. I mean, coral reefs exist um, in over 50 countries and they stretch across uh, you know, most of the tropics and subtropics. There's 375,000 square kilometers of reef around the world. At the end of the three years of the project, um, I think we will have boosted the resources by conservatively tenfold. We'll understand reefs in corners of the planet where they're currently not being monitored. They'll be able to answer when, where, and more importantly, why coral reefs around the world are declining. One of the parts of the project is to create um, essentially a data bank called the Global Reef Record. And this is where we'll be taking the huge amounts of digital, um, video, um, physical measurements and so on, and putting it into this high-speed computer storage system and then making it available to scientists across the world. Because one of the legacies of this, the Catalan CV survey is to create essentially that baseline information that everyone has the rights to use and then to develop this complex picture of how the world is changing. Because it's, you know, we're a small group of something like 15 scientists. This is a job that will involve hundreds of scientists. This is the sort of science we need to do right now to get a real picture on the risk and vulnerability of things like global change to coral reefs.